In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do an easy glitch transition. To begin, I just added two video clips to my timeline that I would like to add a glitch transition to. Let's start by heading over to the project panel and right clicking inside. Go to New Item Adjustment Layer. Right click on your adjustment layer and select Speed Slash Duration. Change this duration to only last for 8 frames and hit OK. Now drag your adjustment layer onto the timeline so that it's centered exactly at the cut. If you're having a hard time centering it, you can hold down the ALT key with the adjustment layer selected, and then use the arrow keys to move it frame by frame. Once it's in place, head over to the effects panel. Type Wave Warp into the search box. Then drag it onto your adjustment layer on the timeline. Now let's go up to Effect Controls and change some of the Wave Warp's properties. First, let's change the wave type to noise to give it a distorted effect. Then increase the wave height to 900. Set the wave width to 2000. After that, I'm going to change the direction to 180 so that the effect looks like it's going sideways. To speed up our effect, increase the wave speed to 5. And the last thing we need to do in here is change the pinning to all edges so that we don't get any black video pulled in from outside the frame. Okay, this looks pretty good, but for a final touch, I'm going to increase the saturation of my glitch. Make sure you have your adjustment layer selected and go up to the color tab. In here, simply turn the vibrance and saturation adjustments all the way up. Alright, now when we play this back, we have a cool, yet really easy glitch transition. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.